three. In October 2013, the AWEB, Association of World Election Bodies, the biggest international organization in the field of election, was launched for the development of electoral democracy worldwide. The AEB was established as a more fundamental alternative for economic development in underdeveloped countries. Its purpose is to help fair and democratic election take its root. The AWEB provides practical information and methods of election process to nations seeking to introduce an advanced electoral system through various projects. As of 2014, the AWEB has 97 electoral organizations from 94 countries around the world as its members. And its office is located in Incheon, Republic of Korea. It has now taken an active step towards international exchange of an advanced electoral culture. The AWEB is specifically planning various projects. Under the plan, the AF will enhance the capability of the nations in need of electoral support through education and training. Also, based on best practice electoral systems and know-hows of each country, the AF will build database to create standardized criteria for a democratic electoral system. One of the important projects of the AWEB, among others, is to provide and run international forums for exchange of information regarding election by forming an observation group for election. And in June 2014, the first forum for international exchange of electoral information was hosted in Korea. Korea is the first target country in this effort. Since the establishment of an independent election management body in 1963, Korea has made a continuous effort to develop the system for fair and democratic election. And recently, Korea is showing remarkable results in the computerization of the electoral system. To observe June 4 nationwide local elections, approximately 120 election experts from 51 organizations of 43 nations visited Korea. Bonjour. Nous sommes ravis d'être ici à, avec les autres pays dans le cadre de ce séminaire en vue de l'observation des élections prochaines en Corée. Euh, notre sentiment en général est satisfaisant. Tout se passe bien et nous constatons une saine émulation intellectuelle. Uh, so we commend uh, the National Election Commission and AWEB for an excellent program that they've given uh, to many people from throughout the world to learn about democracy, to learn about elections, and to learn about specifically how elections are conducted here in Korea. Since early voting was introduced for the first time in the local elections, people cast their votes for two days over the weekend before Election Day. And starting with the visit to early polling stations, the visitors' group shared the entire process of the voting and counting in Korea. Organizers from the AWEB divided the visitors' group into smaller teams so that they could better see the electoral process and share the information with each other. By using the integrated voters list and ballot printers, voters being issued a ballot paper are checked in real time to prevent any illegality and errors which could occur in the course of early voting. Early voting allows voters to cast their votes in any polling station across the nation without any separate registration during the designated period. It is introduced to promote voters' convenience and better preserve people's exercise of voting rights. To achieve its purpose, an early polling station is equipped with the voter's list terminal, the ID check system to record the receipt of a ballot paper by a voter, and the ballot printer that issues ballot papers and address labels in real time. There are two types of voters for early voting. A voter first shows his or her identification card and once identified, 
The voter signs or seals his or her thumbprint on the ID check system. Then the voter receives a ballot paper from the ballot printer. At this time, the voter residing outside the jurisdiction additionally receives a returning envelope with the address label on it. After filling out the ballot paper with the marking tool provided inside a polling booth, the voter residing in the jurisdiction folds the marked ballot and inserts it in the ballot box. And the voter residing outside the jurisdiction inserts the marked ballot in the provided returning envelope and seals and inserts it in the ballot box and then they leave the polling station. The introduction of the integrated voters list has made the biggest contribution to realizing the convenient early voting system. The integrated voters list incorporates all voters across the nation into one computerized system and manages it. The integrated voters list uses the National Information and Communications Network or the exclusive network for the National Election Commission whose security has been verified, allowing safe election without any risk of being hacked. About 3,500 early polling stations were established and operated across the nation. And this early voting is highly acclaimed as a significant system to draw more voters to the polling stations. The early voting system in Korea, which surely contributed to increasing the turnout, is expected to be a best practice guideline to the participating nations. I got a lot of knowledge from this NEC and also from the early voting. Now I am reading and listening and to share my knowledge when I back to my country. Thank you. In particular, the election visitor program for the local elections in Korea drew enthusiastic responses from developing countries. It was because the visitors group could obtain information regarding the electoral system from working level officials. It was also because the participating nations could exchange their opinions, thinking about how to use what they learned in Korea in their own countries. This for the technologists to use, uh, methods to use, uh, we can adopt from the Korean uh, system is, I think, identification. That is, uh, fingerprint identification uh, is very interesting to, to us and we are really planning to implement it in our country. It is a crucial task for all the nations to avoid any errors and illegality in the course of an election and to conduct a fair election. It was the case for Korea too. Since the dawn of its democracy, Korea has experienced various trials and errors, but established a democratic election system by continuously improving the system. Uh, Korea to share its experiences in democratic transitions, especially um, its advanced election system with other election bodies who are going through uh, similar transitions in their own countries. And so I think it's very natural that Voting is an act of the people actually exercising their political rights. Therefore, it is operated by a management system, which is more accurate and fairer than any other procedures, so that people's opinion can be reflected without any distortion. In the six nationwide local elections held on June 4, 2014, each voter received seven ballot papers. At 6 o'clock in the morning of Election Day, voting started as the polling station manager declared the commencement of voting. At the polling station, a voter first shows his or her identification card to poll clerks. After signing or affixing the seal on the voter's list, the voter is provided with three ballot papers. The voter chooses one candidate for each ballot paper using a tool provided inside a polling booth and then fold the marked ballots not to show the inside of the ballots. Then, insert them into the ballot box altogether. Then the second round of voting begins. The voter is provided with four ballot papers. Just like what they did at the first round, the voter chooses one candidate or political party, 
and fills out the ballot papers one by one using a tool provided inside a polling booth. And then fold the marked ballots not to show the inside of the ballots. Then insert those four ballots into the ballot box altogether. And voting is done and the voter leaves the polling station. There are two rounds of voting to avoid halo effects in the elections for superintendents of education where party nomination is prohibited. Also, it promotes voters' convenience when voting. It is possible to use the electronic methods used in early voting, such as ID check by the computerized system and the printing of ballot papers on election day. However, there should be a consensus among the political parties holding a negotiation group in the National Assembly to use the computerized system in voting process on election day, according to the Korean election law. It is because public opinion and social consensus on fair management of election are crucial elements to achieve trust and stability regarding election results. Meanwhile, the management of electoral procedures is possible thanks not only to the efforts by fair and neutral electoral officials, but also to the efficient and safe use of various tools and equipment for election management. Among others, it can be said that the ballot box is the most important tool, delivering every single vote of the people. The NFC electronic chips are attached to the inside of the ballot boxes used in all polling stations across the nation. Each NFC chip has its own serial number. Under this system, the authenticity of a ballot box can be identified immediately by smartphones. This kind of system was developed to promote reliability in the course of voting and ballot counting procedures. Also, both front and back of the top of ballot box is locked with a disposable latch, and a sticker is attached on it. Once locked, the disposable latch cannot be unlocked unless being broken with a special tool. And once detached, the sticker that seals the ballot box is damaged and loses its function. As a result, those latches and stickers guarantee the safety of the ballot box and the ballot counting procedure is managed as strictly as the voting procedure conducted thoroughly and safely. Ballot counting is a procedure which identifies the result of voting. It is comprised of several stages. It starts with the reception and opening of ballot boxes, followed by sorting out ballot papers, counting and tallying up the votes, verification by commissioners, official announcement of the result by the chairperson, recording and reporting, and keeping the used ballot papers. First, once the ballot box arrives at a counting center, the officials check if the box is properly locked and sealed. After confirming everything is okay, the officials accept the box with relevant voting documents. The ballot box without any problem goes to the opening division. With counting observers in attendance, counting workers open and empty the box. They classify the ballot papers by election and evenly organize them. This is part of preparation to classify the votes by candidate and party using the optical scan counter without errors. The optical scan counter is an OMR-based ballot counting machine, which sorts ballot papers into valid votes and unclassifiable votes by candidate or party and gets a total count. Since its introduction in Korea in 2002, the optical scan counter has been continuously used in various elections, such as public official elections, local referendums, primary elections, etc. The optical scan counter is comprised of a control system, a sorting system, and a printer. Through a high-resolution optical sensor, the ballot paper inserted into the machine is scanned in detail, and the machine determines which candidate the voter chose. After such determination, the ballot paper goes into the box assigned to the relevant candidate. Or, in case of undervotes, 
or if it is hard to determine which candidate the voter chose, the machine transfers such ballot papers to the box for unclassifiable votes. As a result, every single vote can be accurately counted and the counting officials can rapidly classify and count as many as 420 ballot papers per minute. After all, the optical scan counter is one of the major equipment enhancing the efficiency of ballot counting procedure. After classification by the optical scan counter, the ballot papers go to the counting and tallying up division with a printed tally sheet. There, the officials in charge of ballot counting manually confirm each ballot paper. First, officials check the ballot papers classified by party and candidate to ensure that there are no ballot papers marked for other candidates. They also double check the number of the votes obtained. And they screen and count all the unclassified votes with the naked eye. And while doing so, they sort valid votes and invalid votes. And the valid votes are sorted by party and candidate once again. This is the last part of final counting. Then, the commissioners check the numbers of the votes gained by each candidate and invalid votes once again by comparing them with the ballot papers. And finally, based on the tally sheet, the chairperson makes an official announcement of the numbers of the votes gained by parties or candidates in each voting district, or up, myeon, tong. The status of ballot count announced by the chairperson is entered and reported through the exclusive network. After that, the result is disclosed through the website as well as media and to the counting observers. The result of ballot counting is also put up on the bulletin board, inside the counting center, etc. After completing the ballot counting procedure, the ballot papers used are classified by voting district or up, myeon, tong. And then the officials put them into the storing boxes and seal the boxes. And by sealing the boxes, the entire ballot counting procedure ends. The entire procedures of ballot counting are monitored by the counting observers nominated by parties and candidates. And thanks to the strictly managed procedures, the system can provide reliable counting results to the public. So, it was natural for the visitors group to express their high interest in how to secure electoral transparency while observing the voting and counting process. Identification check and real-time checking of voters based on the National Resident Registration System and the Integrated Voters List to prevent double voting and the management of ballot boxes with an electronic chip containing a serial number attached to it to avoid any illegality during ballot counting provided a methodical example to developing countries. Furthermore, a free exchange of opinions among the participating countries laid a firm foundation for development of more efficient and democratic election, leading to more active participation of the visitors group. Advanced electoral equipment was introduced and officials from the participating countries forged a close network by discussing and sharing opinions on electoral systems they have and issues they face through the seminars. Uh, we are Prince Malik and we're displaying our technology and sharing with a lot of the election commissions what uh, technology we introduced in other countries. Um, we had a big interest and great feedback from the delegates and great communication and that was our main target for the conference and also of course learning from other countries what technology is used there, uh, where they have difficulties and where they had great success stories. So that's for us, uh, it was a great uh, conference and we fully achieved what we wanted to achieve. Uh, we expect uh, that AIRB is going to organize uh, more programs so that we are able to share ideas. We are able to build this web of experiences which will help other electoral management bodies across the world. Thank you. The AWeb is planning to provide practical support to the participating countries so that they can utilize the electoral system they learned in their own countries. But prior to that, 
the AWeb is already promoting an active exchange among its members by suggesting various electoral projects to them. 이번 그 참관 프로그램에 참가 참가하고 있는 많은 그 국회 참관단들이 이번 이 프로그램에 대해서 좋은 그 평가를 하고 있어서 저는 굉장히 행복합니다. 앞으로 AWeb이 에, 이러한 그 좋은 평가를 기반으로 해서 여러 그 국제 기구들과 협력을 보다 더 밀도 있게 에, 증진해 나갈 것으로 기대하고 있습니다. Above all, the election visitor program in Korea, organized by the AWeb, clearly showed the potential that the AWeb could develop into an international organization. We will become members of AWeb as well because it's a great association. It offers so many opportunities for networking, for exchanging experience, and we hope that we will learn more uh, good practices from our colleagues from other countries in future as well. AWeb will be a very good platform to be able to you know, advocate for this around the world, to go around the world in all the countries and be able to bring together the nations. We are looking at having uh, to learn from each other and having probably one uh, democratic uh, world. And uh, I think through platforms like AWeb and uh, other international organizations, we'll be able to spread this all over like a web. The AWeb, the Association of World Election Bodies, that will serve as a focal point for election network across the globe. Awesome. Now the AWeb will lead the development of democracy of the world through election. AWeb! 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 <laughs> So I'm Aaron Hazleton, I'm with the National Democratic Institute, and you know, so far I've, been, I've enjoyed the conference. I think you know, getting together such an esteemed group of election management officials is very healthy development, and they clearly have many lessons to share and you know, kind of a strong commitment to improving the quality of elections. And I appreciate AWeb's ability to kind of convene such a group and to promote this type of learning. Bien, me ha parecido algo impresionante, muy interesante y además eh, muy bien organizado, muy moderno. Este, incluso llevo información para ver si podemos replicar en mi país, la República Dominicana, este sistema que es tan efectivo y además transparente. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, my name is Olasim de, de Aruzu Baris. I'm commissioner. Uh, and we come from here, uh, T person. We represent uh, uh, Commission National Election uh, for Estimo. And uh, during uh, we st start here, uh, we stay here. Uh, we very appreciate uh, uh, this event uh, organized by the uh, Commission uh, Election uh, Management Body uh, Republic of Korea. Uh, I, uh, I hope uh, in the next time uh, that this commission uh, uh, organize again, uh, maybe in the uh, same issue, because uh, the Timor Leste need more uh, reference from the various country to improve our country. Uh, as you know, that uh, Timor Leste uh, a new country. Uh, even we already make. Uh, uh, three or four uh, election and uh, success, uh, but uh, we have to improve in the next next uh, or in future about uh, our uh, system election. Thank you. I wish all the countries attend here uh, to strengthen democracy and also to uh, to uh, to work together for the clean and fair. Uh, like Korea. The AF is a um, kind of extraordinary organization. Um, uh, so, 
this is kind of a um, um, big scale and uh, you perform and you um, demonstrated the Korean and the common uh, Korean democracy is better than this and uh, I um, really surprised and uh, thinking about and your uh, your country's future is very uh, much better than yours. I do learn a lot of things from this conference. Even I think uh, I may should learn the election as my, as my major and do more things for the de uh, democracy for China. I am very happy to be here. It is a very uh, well organized activity. I am very happy to be here to have this chance. This chance. During these days, we had the chance to hear, to uh, learn new things about new experiences. Uh, I would like very much to thank the organizers. They had done a very, very good work. And really nice to be here. This is my first time, but I hope uh, not the last one to be again here. I have heard about your election, your system on election in early voting, and uh, I learned so much. Uh, you must be very proud of your improvement in your system, and I have a lot of to, to learn from your uh, technology. You use so um, much technology, and I think it's a very good mechanism to make possible the improvement on the election, on credibility, on trust, and so on. Thank you. Well, this has been an excellent uh, election visitors program for people from uh, many countries, uh, from emerging democracies, from established democracies, to come together uh, first to learn about the Korean election system and also to learn about how elections are conducted in other countries. And there's been a great discussion about the independence of election management bodies, about serving the underprivileged, about learning about technology. So it's been an excellent program. Uh, I am uh, presenting this uh, conference uh, with the invitation of the AWEP. Uh, and uh, I, for me, it's the second time here because I have uh, been here to, in uh, the inauguration of the AWEP. And so I am very glad to be here and to share with my uh, colleague our experience. This conference is, uh, uh, is useful for us because we share with uh, each other uh, uh, every uh, point of the elections, uh, every discussion here is uh, something uh, for us to be, uh, to be and to, to go ahead in uh, our uh, election. You know, I am from Albania, I am the chairwoman of Albania and uh, we have uh, next week the local election and so uh, I, I would say that uh, this experience for me and for my colleagues is uh, very useful uh, to improve and uh, in our election uh, all the things, all the best things that uh, we have uh, heard in this uh, conference and uh, that we have shared with each other. So it's a, I am very grateful that I am here. This broadcasting is good but uh, directly to get the result for the Korea, and then uh, we have observation for this process, and we see it's the good. Uh, so the problem, the problem for us, but the the transmission of the broadcasting is not translated to the English or any other other language language uh, which uh, the observer is uh, to to be understood. For the countries that really don't know yet about the democracy process. I think AWEB will be a very great platform to train, teach and also help such countries to be able to learn from each other. Number one, democracy is not something that you just buy from the shelves. It's something that you learn, that you experience, that you 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 know you invest in and out of the different experiences, AWEB will be a very good platform to be able to you know, advocate for this around the world, to go around the world in all the countries and be able to bring together the nations. We're looking at having uh, to learn from each other and having probably one uh, democratic uh, world. And, uh, 
I think through platforms like AWEB and uh, other international organizations, we'll be able to spread this all over like a web, as, as, uh, as AWEB would, would want to tell us. And uh, it, in my own opinion, I think this is uh, just the beginning. We are yet to see big things and great things happening with uh, such organization coming together. You can imagine different all over the world DMVs coming together to share one common goal. It's something to die for. Bonjour, nous sommes ravis d'être ici à, avec les autres pays dans le cadre de ce séminaire en vue de l'observation des élections prochaines en Corée. Euh, notre sentiment général est satisfaisant, tout se passe bien et nous constatons une saine émulation intellectuelle. I got a lot of knowledge from this NEC and also from the early voting. Now I am reading and listening and to share my knowledge when I back to my country. Thank you. Uh, we're glad to show our technology here and I think the, the conference is a great opportunity to exchange ideas, knowledge and uh, build the network amount amongst the election professionals. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Hanjong Azio, thanks so much for NEC and also Web for inviting Malaysia Election Commission to participate in this very good seminar. And we got a lot of benefit from this seminar, sharing expertise from all over the world, election management bodies. So thanks again. Hamza Hamida. Uh, this kind of program really is helpful. Why? Because it's allowed exchange and this exchange is very important for MBs and for others, people who are working in the electoral management. Why? Because uh, when you are exchanging with others, you, you can see where is the problem where we are not succeeding to do and you can try to correct it. In Africa they say the union is the force. You can't go alone. You have to go with somebody else. So this is like how we come when we come to collect information, experiences, and to go to apply it in our field. That is what is very, very important. And uh, for this program especially, uh, we, the DRC is organizing a local election next year. So to observe this election will allow us to have more knowledge for how to manage the electoral law, principally in the national level and the local level. And uh, the NEC was really very transparent to show us everything. We visited the offices, we visited the data center, we visited everything. And we like the professionalism that Korea are conducting this election. And uh, I have to thank AWEB to give us this opportunity. And uh, as I said, AWEB for the MBs is really important because it will be like a focal point of all MBs. When you have something, you need some expertise, you just call and they can say, okay, this that we are looking for, you can find it this place. So, and they can coordinate the effort of EMBs and other stakeholders. So this is really, really important. I would like to thank all the IWAB staff for organizing this seminar, for organizing this international mission. And uh, the training who is coming, it will be good to train people from countries it's not only knowledge that we are sharing, we are sharing also cultures. Because we come from different cultures, so it's good to know each other. It's good to know that in Korea, to greet, you have to say, I'm a so This one is very, very good. So I can tell you also in other countries what is done. So for me, it's already helpful. We will become members of AWEB as well because it's a great association. It offers so many opportunities for networking, for exchanging experience, and we hope that we will learn more 
good practices from our colleagues from other countries in future as well. This program has provided an opportunity of sharing our experiences with each other. We appreciate the efforts which have been put by the National Election Commission Korea and uh, by the AWEB. Like in such a short period, a tremendous achievement has been made by them. The, the members of the AWEB really appreciate the efforts, especially particularly of the Secretary General who has made a tremendous efforts for achieving or for organizing these events for us, which has provided an opportunity to share our experiences with each other. Thank you. Oui, bonjour à, à, à tous. On est ici à la conférence de l'Association mondiale des organisations euh, électorales, ici à Séoul, en Corée. Et euh, je crois que c'est une expérience assez intéressante, parce que une diversité de connaissances qui se mettent en, ensemble et ce partage permet de pouvoir faire, à mon point douter, avancer la manière dont sera géré dans les années à venir le processus électoral dans le monde entier. Et je pense que ça, c'est quelque chose d'extraordinaire. C'est quelque chose à encourager. Now, I'm actually in this um, AWEP uh, observation dim this, uh, this week. I found it very, very interesting, the fact that um, the seminar is uh, mostly mainly to do with our issue and challenges that we face in our electoral management bodies. Now, in Vanuatu, it's a small country compared with uh, South Korea and the other part of the world. We have only 300,000 uh, people and we have uh, 98 registered voters. Now, if I compare and contrast with South Korea, the South Korea have 41 million uh, registered voters, which is a very big job. But what I learned so far this week is the, 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 the knowledge and challenges is similar throughout the world. I mean, we all face the same challenges. Now, this, um, this week conference is world class standard. It gave us a lot of experiences and it gave us a lot of um, uh, exchange of knowledge of what happened in the other part of the country and also what is actually happening in, in South Korea. So South Korea is a very advanced country in the sense that it's computerized and the way that uh, it's early voting. I was so surprised when I came in and found out that it's um, the, the, the election is early election, which early voting, which is very amazing. And then in my country, if we have an election, early election, early voting, it's going to be abused by politicians. But then, on the other hand, Korea is demonstrating uh, transparency. It's, uh, it's um, demonstrating a lot of good examples for other uh, countries in the world to follow. Thank you very much. Well, it has been a real privilege to be at the visitor program and the knowledge fair. I have learned so much and the ability to uh, see how the rest of the world is tackling some of the same problems we are has been fascinating. I'm really grateful for the opportunity, and I think a tremendous job has been done putting this together. This, my impressions of the seminar are very, very, it's very impressive. I meet so many people, and then I learn so many things, and I think it's very good because there are so many people from different electoral commissions of the world that are gathered here. And we are learning a lot of things that we can also use way back in Nigeria. And I think that Korea is a very interesting place. I like it very much, although it's very far from my country. But I hope I can visit it again and very soon too. Yeah, so I love the Korean people. They are nice and they are very, very friendly. So I'm enjoying myself at the program. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. My name is Miguel and I'm from the Philippines. I'm representing a company called Smartmatic. And we have a number of technologies here that basically automate the election process and specifically the voting process as well as the counting and the transmission process. And this can help the elections basically because it, it uh, takes away the element of uh, fraud and uh, human errors in terms of appreciation of votes. Uh, well, the point is uh, we can, uh, regarding uh, money, it's difficult to say who is good, who is bad because uh, the use of money in each election depends on the society. Some societies, as a Korean one, they used to give the money after the election. 
in Mexico, we used to give the money before the elections because it's easy to um, have a accountability and oversight that uh, amount of money. Semano, uh, say, oh, I came from the Mongolia, but I attend the knowledge fair and uh, international observation program uh, that are organized by NEC and uh, AWIP. Uh, it was the way uh, helpful, I think that it was the way helpful for all the NBA bodies and uh, it will help us to uh, stand for the democracy of Mongolia. AWIP is uh, so far a unique uh, place for meeting election management bodies from around the world and I think that's a very uh, unique feature that uh, is always uh, fruitful to discuss and deliberate with others about issues that concern everyday work of someone working on elections. AWIP would, would continue in the manner that they've started because what they've done there today is very good at bringing all those countries together to understand how the different um, uh, EMBs operate. Our organization, because they give us the opportunity to participate in this event, and will be a good opportunity to learn uh, among the other electoral managers to improve in each management in each nation. I think the whole process is quite good, well organized, quite transparent, and all the voters, when they come in, they can get enough support and they know where to go and where to get the tickets and how to vote here. Uh, I think everything is quite organized and people will feel comfortable um, to do so. Uh, all the uh, election process today is going well as we observe uh, this election from the early morning. And uh, also uh, the uh, casting was uh, well. Uh, we attend all these uh, stations and see how the election is uh, going well. So I hope that uh, everything uh, will uh, finish well and all the results will appear uh, soon, inshallah. Well, first of all, I noticed that uh, Korean uh, people, that is the voters, really rely on NEC. Uh, and the NEC also relies on voters because in our country we as a election commission try to control every process to a very deep extent you know just uh, this is because of the uh, lack of enough confidence enough belief in each other but uh, in the election system uh, of Korea we saw that uh, everything is uh, is uh, kind of a reliable. The Korean system is very similar to our system and uh, of course that we see the, uh, two days before early voting system we are planning to Im implement one of the technical uh, things that we saw in the uh, early voting system polling station so uh, I think it is going to be a very useful uh, journey from Macedonia to Korea and very good very well organized uh, program for uh, from our host to all delegations of the world. Thank you. I think when compared to the polling uh, uh, process on polling day, when it, the Korea Korea and compared to Malaysia, the the the, is, the basic process is uh, quite identical to Malaysia. In the sense that uh, when the voter comes into the polling station, first the identification process is done. Once he's identified that his name is on the electoral roll, then he proceeds to be given the ballot paper. And from the ballot paper, he enters the booth, as they say, a secret place where he can mark, and uh, somebody will ensure that he drops the ballot paper which is marked into the ballot box. And here is the same that you have the agent, you know, the, the party agents here, yeah, or who are actually witnessing the authenticity of the uh, voting process. This is so we have. In fact, uh, the way that we observe here, one good the point that is where the polling booth that you have for the handicapped, I think, this is something for us to, to, 
to appreciate. Thank you. Uh, regarding the closing, uh, closing process, uh, it's uh, quite the same with Malaysia, in which uh, we seal, okay, we make sure that everything is, uh, is complete, and then we start counting. But uh, we have a certain checklist in which we have to check uh, regarding the ballot paper, the tally or not, with the total we provide to the uh, to the commission. Okay, so there's a, a big difference for Malaysia. Uh, but overall, good, very good. Thank you. I think AWEB can play an integral role in um, continuing to increase cooperation among election management bodies um, in the future. I think um, possibly in the future uh, creating a standard for election management bodies to either work toward um, would be very helpful. I think um, continuing to encourage cooperation among election bodies um, will also be an important role uh, for AWEB in the future. I, I think uh, AWEB uh, will be will be a, a leader in a, you know in our saying is uh, third world third world uh, not 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 the uh, correct word now but uh, in meaning and uh, on the other hand I think uh, the Republic of Korea maybe will be the leader of the Technical uh, uh, of uh, democracy or election, I, I think that's something uh, very important and also interesting. Yeah. Uh, we expect uh, that Air is going to organize uh, more programs so that we are able to share ideas. We are able to build this web of experiences which will help other electromagnetic bodies across the world.